hey, who wants to compete? Who's watching this thinking, dude, I want to be just as good as my competition. I want to be equal with everybody, right? I, I don't want to do better than, any, than, than a business down the street, you know, the PNC office down the street. You know, I want us to make the same amount of money. You know, I don't want to scale anything. I don't want to think bigger. I don't want to dream bigger, man. I, I definitely don't want to crush anyone, or do I? Here's six ways how you can crush your insurance sales competition. Nobody gets into business to be average. Nobody gets into business to just make enough money to pay your bills. Nobody gets into business not thinking, dude, I'm gonna freaking conquer the world with this new thing. My idea is the greatest idea since sliced bread, right? So here's six ways on how to start to crush your insurance sales competition. I'm gonna give you specific things that a lot of your competitors are not doing that you can do right now today to freaking crush it, okay? Number one. Number one is you can put forth a lot more activity than they do. Most insurance offices are sipping coffee, going to the water fountain, acting like something's gonna be printing out in 12 minutes, you know, checking emails, you know, I'm, 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 I'm oh, let's go to an early lunch because I don't have, any, have, a, have a blank slate, you know, or let's have 32 meetings a day because that's what every insurance agent wants to do is sit through a meeting with their manager every 14 minutes, right? Activity is key. I talk a lot about systems, I talk a lot about process, I talk a lot about doing big stuff. Activity is the secret to success in the insurance industry. Most insurance offices do not put forth enough activity. Okay, when I'm talking activity, I'm talking when I do a dial session, I'm not doing it for 10 minutes. I'm doing it for an hour. I'm doing it for two hours. Maybe I'm taking a break and then going back at it for another couple hours, right? I'm in the zone. I'm setting time constraints and I'm hammering them until I'm done, okay? Because I'm not psychologically telling myself that I'm a quitter and that I can't do enough, okay? More activity, all right? The second thing is you need to get more attention. You need to get attention. Most insurance offices are not getting attention nowadays. Attention. Right, what, 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 what does GC say? They, they can't, they can't uh, if they don't know you, they can't flow you, right? You need to get attention. Nowadays, having the attention of everyone in your city, like when I drive, I was thinking about this the other day, when I drive through a city and I see some stupid billboard that says, pretty, it might as well say, I'm here to sell you insurance, right? Because most of these billboards are freaking so bad. I look at them and just cringe thinking, dude, there's a wasted thousand bucks a month, you know? If I had a billboard today, it would be the wildest, most off the wall, craziest, dumbest, most attention getting, most newsworthy thing someone's ever put up in a city, okay? Because what's the point of the billboard? The point of the billboard is not to, to actually write a policy tomorrow from the billboard. That's actually not the case. For those that think that, you're wrong, okay? What's the point of a billboard? The point of a billboard is to get so much attention that when they see it, and then think about insurance later in six months, they think about you. That's the whole point of a freaking billboard, all right? So let's think about getting a ton of attention, okay? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, you know, dude, I mean, sometimes people now are putting stuff upside down just to get attention, okay? The point is, let's, let's think outside the box instead of just being in it and being like everybody else and putting up a picture of your staff and saying, hey, we want to sell you insurance and we're amazing and we love you and we sell life insurance, right? Who freaking cares, right? Everyone sells life insurance, okay? So let's think about getting more attention nowadays in your local market. You need to dominate your space. When they think about insurance in your city, who do they think about? And how can you fix this so they always think about you? And I'm talking freaking everyone. I'm talking you got so much attention in the space that they don't call their brother they call you because they, 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 they forgot their brother sells insurance because he puts on Facebook every 42 seconds about a meme of, of how you, oh, you spend a dollar a day on coffee, but you can't buy life insurance in, but you're taking the different, new, more modern, exciting approach to this whole thing, okay? The third one is, dude, stay consistent. When you start putting in enough activity, don't quit on the second day. When you start getting more attention, don't quit on the second month because, oh, I haven't seen results yet, okay? If I would have quit on YouTube sometime in these last four and a half years when we started it, guess what? You would have no clue who we are. But because we were actually consistent, we didn't quit, 
it's grown. Where people know us, we're helping more people, right? I mean, literally this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I got messages, either YouTube comments, emails, or Instagram messages from, from people in Egypt, Singapore, India, Australia, Canada, right? And the UK. Six different countries across the world. And because of that, it's simply because we have been consistent, right? It doesn't mean that we have the greatest content in the world. It means that we were consistent about it. And we weren't, apparently we weren't boring, right? And you can find us. That's what you need to be thinking about on how can you stay consistent with everything you're doing. Okay, number four, you've got to eventually build out a team, okay? You can't crush your competition by yourself. Your competition has a team. Your competition's, competition's been doing big stuff in the world. We got 40 team members here. I'm telling you, we could not accomplish near as much as what we're accomplishing now today without a staff behind us. There's been no army of one that's ever been the greatest army in the world, okay? All of these huge companies that you think about that started in their basement, they had to add staff to scale this thing, right? They started to do bigger stuff and by duplicating, replicating, they can start to scale. And, 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 and back, we were doing, we 13 x our company in 24 months by adding, by just doing number four. Okay, so you want to crush your competition. I've got supposed competition out there. I don't know who they are anymore, but because they don't have any staff, they will never keep up. We are flying past them. They, 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 they have zero chance. And I want you to think about how can you, and I'm getting a little aggressive and competitive today, how can you in your local market do so much that no one has a chance to ever catch up. I'm asking Dylan all the time, how can we get more subscribers? How can we do more? How can we double down? Can, we, can I spend more money? I'll throw some money at it, man. I want more, I want more. I wanna have such a massive gap between the second YouTube channel or the third YouTube channel that they don't even think about looking at those, right? And that's how you should be in, you don't get into business to be the nice guy. You just don't. Like, I, I don't want everybody to love me, but I wanna do something that crushes my supposed competition, okay? And if you don't, say that out loud, you're still thinking it, okay? The next one, number five, you gotta spend some money. You have to freaking, th th you gotta put all your, you gotta go all in, right? There's been so many, like throwing 8%, I went all in, right? Lost half a million bucks, fantastic. I'll lose another half a million bucks, that's what it takes to, to keep pushing forward. Because at some point it's gonna like, I'm, the fl script's gonna flip and I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna actually start making some money out of what I'm doing, right? But for you, and we do with other companies and stuff. But for you, what do you need to spend money on, right? You, you, I'd be, I, w I would right now, in my local market, if I was you, I would be spending money on Google, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, maybe some direct mail, some local community events. Like I would be going all in. Everybody would know my name if I was in your city selling insurance right now. I would flat out freaking bring it in that market. Okay, and you need to be doing the same thing. Spend some money. Right, you would be amazed at the fact that we probably spend with, with team members and advertising and, and events and everything else and office space and you know whatever else expenses, we probably spend quarter million dollars a month now, right? Nobody cares, okay? And, 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 if, and, and, and I'm ready to get it to a million bucks a month because that's what it actually takes to do something big in the world, right? So let's start, think about spending some money. You can't not have a budget and, and be great. That, right? You can't be balling on a budget and, 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 and be a baller. It doesn't work that way. Okay. That's number five. Spend some freaking money. Okay. If you won't hire a coach, you won't spend money on marketing dollars. You have zero chance of actually crushing your competition because that's what does the kind of stuff that they're doing. Okay. Number six, let's get to where we're thinking much bigger, way bigger, way bigger. If the goal is, Hey Cody, I want to make six figures. Dude, listen, why not half a million bucks? Why not a million dollars? Why not, right? Because if everything was right in the world and you put it forth, forth more activity, you got more attention, you stayed consistent with it, you built out a team, you spent money, could you get your operation to seven figures? Could you get your operation inside the next several years to eight figures, right? Let's think about doing something huge. You wanna crush your competition, supposed competition? This is the formula to do it. This is the formula we've used here that I've personally used over the last several years to absolutely kill it. And we are not even close yet. I, I, went, to, I went to Andy and I'm like, dude, 
I think I want to spend a thousand bucks a day on 8% right now. Like nobody's doing events. I'm not a quitter. We're going to do an event. Okay. And we will do whatever it takes to blow it up, sell it out and fill out that place. Okay. So think about, start thinking about that in, in for you, right? How do you do this? What do you do? When do you do it? This is the way. Now it's up to you. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food. I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. See you over there. Hey, if you're sitting there watching thinking, I want to be better. I want to make more money. I want to improve. I want to be a great salesman.